Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the 2-1 win against Hibs tonight in the Premiership. What a difference a goal can make to your season, isn't it? It was one of these games where you just thought it was going to be one of the nights we weren't going to get the goal and up pops the new boy Hadji to score the winner. Uh, absolutely brilliant, keeps the season alive. As much as I don't think it would have fully killed off our season, it would have made it incredibly, incredibly difficult if we hadn't won tonight, given the results Celtic got. But we need to keep doing what we're doing and get the results, and that's really the main thing. But it was largely a frustrating night. In fairness, we were again the better team. We had most of the possession. We had most of the chances. Hibbs had a couple of half chances but it was comfortably dealt with by McGregor if it came through to him apart from the goal of course which we'll get into but certainly the first 10 minutes of the game we started off the straps very well we came out, we looked as if we were hungry, we were up for it, we were passing the ball well, we were very fluid we were quick and then all of a sudden it just died after about 10 minutes I don't know what happened the, the team have got a bad habit of doing that it seems to be the, they're g'd up for the start of it just for maybe the pre-match team talk and then they get onto the park and they realise what they're initially doing is not working and then they just seem to die we had a majority of the possession we had a majority of the chances and it's been the same old story though where we've been up against a very tightly packed defence and again that's fair play to Hibs they've done that job well but we've got to learn to break it down and then we've got to be able to actually have shots in a crowded box. I mean, we were hitting shots that was deflecting off players, we weren't getting past our, our first man, it was getting deflected well wide. Uh, it's something a wee bit of spark is needed in that attack. I don't know what is the, the answer. I've said we need to start maybe sitting back a wee bit and allowing the teams to come out at us rather than us having all the possession all the time because all it's doing is forcing them back into their own half, which again, Hibs done tonight as they played large parts of the first half in with 11 men in their own half but nonetheless we did go a goal down on the 35th minute it was a free kick floated into the box a header up in the air by the Hibs player it was going towards McGregor McGregor kind of came out for it Whitaker comes right across him led with his elbow I felt and takes McGregor out no foul given falls to the Hibs player and then who knocks it into the back of the net now McGregor perhaps made an arse of it I don't know this I've said some people come out and say that and perhaps he could have done better there but Whitaker came right across him. In this day and age, and I've I've been one for calling that goalkeepers get far too much protection, but that's the same in every single game. So once again, why change it for this game? McGregor clearly taken out and Hibbs go up and score. A, a shocking refereeing decision there for me, once again, which we'll get into towards the end of the game. So it kind of came against the, the run of play as well, which was the annoying thing. As I said, we had a lot of the possession, most of the play. They only had a couple of chances up until that point. So we regrouped and we largely started playing the exact same way as we've just been playing for the for the past 20 odd minutes. But then just before half time, up pops Edmondson and we get a goal and they draw level. A free kick was whipped into the box from the right hand side from Tavenier. Bit of fortune, hits off two Hibs players right to Edmondson though, right at the back post at the right place and a first time shot into the back of the net. He's done that a couple of times. Great goal all round. As I said, a bit of fortune with the way it cannoned off a couple of uh, Hibs defenders, but it happens to us often enough. You look at the, the Hearts game a couple of Sundays ago, that's what undone us to get the loss there. But in the half time, obviously expecting a lot more from the team, a lot less pedestrian, a lot more inventiveness, and we got that for a lot of the second half, to be honest. Uh, we came out the traps really flying, and we never really let up and Tom Miller highlighted it. it was about 13 corners in the space of like 33 minutes or something like that in the second half, uh, so we were all over them. We did force their keeper in a few good saves with his legs, but it just looked as if it was going to be one of these nights, and we've, we've seen it time and time again where we could have played for another 90 minutes and still not scored. Made a couple of changes, Aribo coming off, Stewart coming on, uh, Kent came off, Jones came on as well and then in the 84th minute up pops the new boy Hadji and scores a brilliant goal. The ball was up in the air which Arfield headed it towards goal. Goldson who was, had his back towards the goal uh, on the edge of the box heads it towards goal on the right hand side for the on running Hadji who had a first time shot into the far post. Brilliant, brilliant vision, a great run from Hadji and a great shot as well. And then really that was it from, from there. Uh, Hadji came off just after that in the 87th minute and Kamara came on and it was really just about seeing the game out there. So 
a vital, vital three points there. Um, it's something that could have potentially ended our season, but we got the three points and we roll on to the next game. So, now, as I said, the refereeing performance we've got to highlight here, despite what any listening Celtic fans or Hibs fans or Aberdeen fans or whoever fans you are, the refereeing performance again tonight was absolutely abysmal. Just, I do not know what the referee was playing at with some of the, the, the issues tonight. Again, as I highlighted, the Hibs goal, you know, McGregor was fouled. We had what I would say was a stonewall penalty denied in the 42nd minute with Kent clearly taken out in the box. Madden sees it because he did make a gesture and he may have indicated that he dived. So regardless of, of that, he's got to either book him there because it was either a dive or it was a stonewall penalty. There's no two ways about it. It was either one or the other. Several strange decisions throughout the game. And the three I want to highlight here was... In the 67th minute, I think it was, there was an off-the-ball incident where the ball was played forward. Madden turned his back towards the, where the ball had just been, obviously, to see the play. And Boyle led with his elbow, or his shoulder, certainly, into our defender. It was the linesman, apparently, that pulled the play back. And the referee had no sight of it whatsoever. A foul was given. So if it was enough for the linesman to flag the referee to say that was a foul, where was the card? Because it was a clear off-the-ball incident. No attempt to play the ball whatsoever. And just the most inexplicable decision I've ever seen on a, on a football park and it seems to be getting exponentially bigger every time we play when it comes up to referees now is we had the break of the ball in the 88th minute with Morelos going down the right hand side he was clearly held back and then wrestled to the ground held back and wrestled to the ground when he was the one going forward a foul was given but no yellow card the most bizarre decision I've ever seen in my life and then a few minutes later, a fairly similar instant right after that, Dar McGregor, who had just came on, hauled back our player when he was breaking forward. And it was clearly an attempt to stop him getting getting forward. No attempt to play the ball. Should have been a booking. Foul given, but no booking. It's quite clear now that we are refereed to a completely different standard. I've actually lost count of how many instances like this have happened when it comes to refereeing decisions. The club need to make a stand on this now and they need to come out all guns blazing and accept any fine that comes their way because at the end of the day, nothing is getting done about it. That's several decisions now that have been match-changing games. You just need to look at the, the, the League Cup final. You need to look at the next game against Celtic where three players should have been sent off and not one of them was. There's been a litany of decisions against us this year. It's now got to the stage where the referees are ignoring the rules when it comes to us. Highlighted tonight about the haul back and wrestle to the ground of Morelos. And he done well, by the way, not to react, which is fair play to Morelos as well, because quite clearly Stevenson had, had afters there as well. So um, I don't understand that. But anyway... Enough about referees, Dave and I will talk about that in the main pod, which we'll probably be recording next week. But it leads us on now to the next game against Hamilton in the Scottish Cup fifth round. It's on Saturday and it's a half 12 kickoff, so another vital game. Every single game's vital. I'm fed up of saying that as well. But anyway, glad of the three points tonight. If you want to check the rest of our stuff out, you can go to our website, which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com, and there you can find all our social media from there. So. Thanks for listening and goodbye.